public relations 2.0 is the ability to collaborate in social media channels with the public. So we're able to reach uh, customers and constituents through blogs or social networks or RSS and we're able to engage one-to-one -one, which is different than the way we used to communicate uh, through a broadcast model. First you have to know why you want to use social media, um, identifying the, the right audience. Uh, different groups participate different ways through different channels. It's important to use technology to listen, to hear conversations that allow you to create the appropriate content, to share, and to make sure that you are measuring everything that you're doing and your measurement should map back to your original goals and objectives. Customers are looking for a different experience. They participate in a, a social network so they can receive something that they wouldn't normally get from you. So for example on Facebook you might be offering a customer a discount or a promotion or it's a place where you can help them and answer their questions. We all have to worry about crisis management today. Monitoring tools that um, enable you to hear the sentiment are very important. You need to use real-time tools uh, to gauge the volume, the tone of the conversation, and to be able to reach out with the proper information uh, to stop the negative and to neutralize the situation. So monitoring tools are very important. The, the monitoring or the, the listening tools, some of the more popular, uh, Radian 6, Sysimos, understanding uh, the, the reach of your influencers or the clout of your influencers, and those tools are tweet level, peer index, clout. Um, when it comes to understanding how your networks are participating, you can use visualization tools, including Mention Map and Facebook Touch Graph. Um, you always want to know if people are talking about you. You're going to use Google Alerts or Social Mention. So those are a few of the tools that come together in your PR20 toolkit. The main relevance for public relations in a, in a company and is in aiding communication at all levels between the company and the stakeholders. It could be uh, media stakeholders, so it could be the press, it could be shareholders, it could be uh, staff, it could be potential employees, it could be clients. There are all sorts of stakeholders and public relations has to communicate to all of them. The main tools are <laughs> speed, anticipation, uh, and the ability to use social media tools effectively to understand uh, Twitter, to understand LinkedIn, to understand websites and um, Facebook, so that you could use all of those tools to mitigate any uh, crisis communications activity. Vivimos en un mundo globalizado. Es un mundo que ha cambiado fundamentalmente en relación con épocas anteriores por la gran presencia en, a nivel internacional mundial de las empresas transnacionales y que ningún país ya puede vivir sin conectarse, sin interferencias con las grandes tendencias económicas, culturales, mundiales. Relaciones públicas son una especialidad que ve precisamente la relación de la empresa con todo su entorno. Todas las relaciones que existen a nivel nacional e internacional, el mundo de política, económico, los medios de comunicación, los clientes, los posibles clientes y también el ambiente donde funciona la empresa. Entonces, relaciones públicas juega un papel fundamental para que la empresa se uh, ubica bien dentro de ese, todo ese mundo complicado nacional e internacional. Hay una interconexión entre los países inevitable y necesaria para poder lograr el desarrollo. Ningún país puede encerrarse en sí mismo y ninguna empresa puede pensar 
que por sí mismo y solo por sí mismo va a desarrollarse. Se necesita tomar en cuenta todas las circunstancias nacionales e internacionales.